Our residents' life experience is one of the most important things that our students go through during their time in college. We'd like to take it you know, out and show the public what we're doing. I've been really impressed with all the help. I can't wait to come back and help the freshmen next year. This is one of the finest facilities of any university's football program. Forget what level. Welcome in everybody to the Sanford Chronicle, a periodic look at the happenings at Sanford University. I'm Brad Radici, your host for the next few minutes, and I'm also a Sanford graduate, and it all started for me right here at Smith Hall. Now another year is underway for Sanford students, but before they even got here, the campus was buzzing with activity. In early August, faculty and staff assisted with the second annual Residence Hall Roundup to check all campus residence facilities and make sure they were ready for move in. Our residents life experience is one of the most important things that our students uh, go through during their time in college. Ensuring that uh, where they live is clean, uh, it's welcoming, uh, it's so important to their experience and the fact that so many have poured out to ensure that they're top notch when students move in, it's really exciting and a testament to the type of community that Sanford is. In addition to checking rooms for repairs, employees conducted inventory analyses and wrote notes to arriving students welcoming them to campus. Move-in day is always a hub of activity as upperclassmen, employees, and local volunteers swarm the campus to welcome and help more than 800 new students who are on campus this fall. I've been really impressed with all the help. I can't wait to come back and help the freshmen next year because it's just, it really has been such a huge help to have everything done for you. Yeah, they're very good at what they're doing. Although we had get, been given some perspective as to what would happen, uh, totally awesome. The move-in process, uh, the fact that you come in, they had everything out of the van in probably less than five minutes before I could get parked and back over, it was all gone. Although most classes begin August 24th, law and pharmacy students arrived earlier in August for orientations and to begin classes. Faculty and staff participated in two days of workshops that helped prepare for the year ahead. One of the annual features is a State of the University address from Sanford President Andy Westmoreland. I am very much inspired by the willingness of the Sanford community to accomplish extraordinary results, even in the face of some very difficult economic times. Now other groups arriving earlier than their fellow students were the Sanford Marching Band and several athletics teams, including football. And the team, as you can see, worked through intense two-a-day preseason drills. The marching band participated in two full weeks of all-day preparation for their season. This year's band, the largest in several decades with 92 musicians and color guard members. More than double the band size just two years ago. Uh, it's been exciting for the program, it's been exciting for the students. Uh, it's great to have a group that's a little bit larger so uh, they don't feel um, you know, overwhelmed at the stadium. We want to perform as much as we can, so um, you know the students take this as a class, and we meet twice a week, and we uh, play at all the home games. But we'd like to take it, you know, out and show the public what we're doing. In addition to home football games, the band will perform at other special events throughout the fall. And some fall sports are already in full swing, with the volleyball team and soccer team already starting their seasons before classes began. The soccer team opened the season in front of a school record crowd and tied nationally ranked Auburn University. The Bulldog football team opened the season at the University of Central Florida and has another season of rugged Southern Conference play ahead of them, but they get to enjoy their first season in the new Cooney Family Fieldhouse, already dubbed one of the finest football facilities in the region. Well, what it does more than anything is, is it will provide us with a better football program and if, if, if that's part of the university experience for a student, which it usually is, then that's excellent. But again, you have to stress that this was privately funded with fundraisers of people who support and love Sanford football, and that's what we're so proud of. The new field house was completed just in time for preseason workouts and was officially dedicated on August 31st. And in addition to the field house, construction crews were busy all summer long with roofing and other refurbishing projects. Now gone from the Sanford landscape is the building where I'm standing right now. That's Ramsey Hall. 
Following an unfortunate roof collapse a year ago, the decision was made not to rebuild the facility, so demolition took place over the summer. University officials are reviewing long-term plans for additional residence facilities. Another new feature greeting Sanford students this year is The Hub. It's 24 hours worth of information. It's located right behind me in the Beeson University Center. Got questions? Need help? Well, The Hub's the place to go. The Hub serves as a, a one-stop shop for students. They don't know, if a student doesn't know where to find something, they can go to The Hub. If they have an issue with maintenance or some other type of need where they need a service in the residence hall room, they can go to The Hub. Freshman year, my shower just started overflowing at like 12 o'clock at night. And so that was really hectic trying to find someone. So I know now if that happened, that we could call down here and it'd be taken care of as soon as possible. So that's really cool. And results of a multi-year, multi-phased project for the university are beginning to show up around campus and really in the public too. This summer, the university unveiled an updated logo that incorporates the university's signature bell tower image, but in a format better suited for the 21st century. Another major aspect of the branding initiative is an updated university website. It has expanded information sections, news and calendar highlights, and easy to maneuver features that are already drawing rave reviews from every university constituent. Check it out at Samford.edu. And finally, the fall semester began with announcements that Samford continues to be nationally recognized by several collegiate rankings. Again, this year, Samford was selected as one of the 371 best universities by Peterson's Guide, and in the prestigious U.S. News and World Report college ratings, Samford continues to be in the top tier of national doctoral research universities. Samford is one of three Alabama universities ranked in the top tier and is the highest ranked university in the Southern Conference. Those rankings confirm the university's commitment to the highest quality of academic excellence. Well, we've enjoyed sharing the latest chapter of Samford Life with you. To keep up with Samford on a daily basis, don't forget to check us out at samford.edu. I'm Brad Radisi. Thanks for joining us.